Stream. Let's see if this works. Oh my goodness, I think we're live. I think we're live, just the video's never up in time. Here we go. Hey, there we are. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Modern Army CMATS live with Jordan Delabao. And we got Big Steve out here today with us. Hello, everybody. Um, where are we at? Where are we at, Big Steve? It's, um, it's Wednesday. We're back. We're ba I'm back from holidays. That's right. In two weeks. Uh, back from holidays. And you know what I got to do? Uh, before I forget, I got to go let Facebook know we're live. So if you're new to this channel or new to watching our live videos and um, you're, you're watching this after we've gone live, you might want to jump ahead three or four minutes, five minutes into the video. Otherwise, uh, hang in there. We'll get started in just a few minutes. In the meantime, uh, there's Steven to entertain you with his uh, stick twirling, circling thing. Yes. Otherwise known as beat up this guy with these. Woo! Nice. Hey. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is speakers. Oh, wow. That was an eight second delay. Uh, okay. What do you call that? The lag. Lag. I believe. All right. So we got that up. Now, if you're also new, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel. That'd be excellent as we make our way to 1,000. We are more than a quarter of the way there. So we appreciate it. Let's go and let Facebook know now. Here we go. Oh, I, I wonder if all that, my, uh, the mic's right here, so I wonder if it picks up all my heavy pounding on the keys. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, share that now. Also, if you're live with us, don't forget to chat, chat. And uh, by chatting, you have to be logged into Google and chat with us live. I think I say that right, right? Is that correct? Got to be logged into Google or logged into YouTube or something? Yeah. They're, okay. they're one and the same, right? Logged into YouTube. Okay, Facebook has been notified. People are gonna start coming to the room. Here we go, let's lower that for a second. That's all looking good. Our uh, frames per second, the CPU usage, the kilobits are all looking fantastic. And, oh, and I gotta pop out the chat. There we go, pop out the chat. Oh, it's been like, feels like forever since we've been doing this. <laughs> We're back. Two weeks and it's like, how do you do it, right? Don't forget, you have to yell at me in order for the mic to hear you. Ah, yes. Otherwise, they'll be like, Steven, Big Steve's lips are moving. I don't know what he's saying. I think I'm just used to having a big voice that carries. Mmm. You know, I'm getting lazy that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's live. That's good. That's good. You know what, Big Steve? I got big news for you. Uh oh. Well, I know you were my. Uh, you've always been my my uh, biggest student here. Yes. At standing at six foot eight. Last I checked. And uh, well, my other second biggest student. Big Andrew mm -hmm. is coming back to Victoria. Oh, he is, eh? Oh, no. I, got, I got the message. He got threatening Steve. He's like, I'm going to take over his title. I think I grew an inch. <laughs> but, if I remember uh, correctly, a lot of that was because somebody decided to go with a permier haircut to try and make a difference. <laughs> oh, permier haircut. <laughs> He'll like hearing that. But yeah, Big Andrew's coming back maybe in March 2022. Oh, nice. So that's exciting. Oh, cool. That's yeah. exciting. Have him back on the mats. I uh, welcome the threat to my uh, height dominance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm going to try something else new tonight. I'm going to try shutting off one of the mics uh, so it focuses just on the one to see what happens then. Yeah. But if you're out there, uh, give us a chat. Say hello. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Give us a, uh, what do you call it? A subscribe to the channel. Hit that, smash that button. Everyone's probably like, well, who, who's talking? Who's, where's the person? I hear Steven moving, but who's the guy and the voice in the background? I had a great uh, vacation. It was good. It was needed. There's some awesome things that happened. And uh, now we're back. We're back and with a vengeance because speaking of back, my back's doing better. Right. My back is doing way better than I was here last. So 
Oh, oh, we got Mr. Neil Rossoff out there. Hello. Thanks. Good evening, Mr. Neil. Good evening. Thank you for the hello there. That's awesome. You know, it's kind of funny as I remember when uh, I think it was my wife Anna first started doing this. She uh, she was in baseball, and I remember her talking about how like you have to break the wrists over and stuff to get this going. And I just tried it for fun. I'm like, how powerful does it feel to you know do that? Like that shit doesn't feel as good as doing that. It's different, man. <laughs> eh? Different muscle group, different energy. Yeah, so now I'm just like, hmm. baseball versus stick swing. I know which one I prefer. Well, you know, I got another use for the sticks we're going to talk about tonight. Okay. I had a uh, gentleman uh, confide in me, if you will, or whatever. I won't give out his name or anything. But he was walking in the woods mm -hmm. with his dog. And here in British Columbia, we got lots of woods to walk in. Yep. And uh, two dogs came out and approached him and they were working as a team to surround him and his dog. Oh boy. And he goes, I have never felt more calm in my life because when he walks along, he picks up a stick. Yeah. And he just kind of has it about our length that we use. Yeah. And he felt very confident, very calm with the, keeping the dogs at bay and his dog doing its job to keep the other dog at bay. Yeah. And they worked as a team and the other dogs finally ran off again. There you go. But someone else was letting their two dogs off the leash and uh, they are not very well controlled or behaved. So. Uh, okay. so there you go. Just walking with a stick is always a good thing. Yep. Yeah. Except for when you walk into a bank. You don't want to walk into a bank with a stick. It doesn't look the same. It just, you know, you get eyed up pretty good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't like that, huh? Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to post that video I did. I, I'm thinking about it. Posting that. Uh, oh, your, uh, my, your my, what, my lip sync challenge video. What do you think, everyone? Should I post my lip sync challenge video? <laughs> I was on the fishing boat uh, for my relaxation on my R&R. &R, and I uh, just happened to have the GoPro running and did a little lip sync uh, to a song. Maybe, I, maybe we'll, we'll pull the crowd tonight whether or not I should post it. I feel like it's one of those things you should definitely post if you do a little bit of video editing. A little video editing to it? Yeah. Oh, are you talking like putting like twinkly stars to it or whatever? Well, I was thinking that or like <laughs> a breaching whale was a good idea, you know? A breaching whale in the background? <laughs> okay. I think uh, we can get started. We got some people in the room tonight and they're waiting for us to hit sticks or do something martial art wise. If you have any requests tonight, um, oh, someone says absolutely to the video. Okay. There you go, I guess. <laughs> we got to vote. We got to vote. Uh, if you have a request tonight, something you want to see within the Modern Ernie's uh, program, feel free to ask and we'll see if we can demonstrate it for you. All right, Big Steve. Let's do this. Let's do this. I like after, uh, how after all these years, um, oh, I was going to turn off a mic, right? Let me do that for a second. I'm going to do it a different way this time. Oh, uh, which mic is it? <laughs> I think it's this one. Oh, Here. don't tap too loud. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna turn off that one. Okay. Good. Say test. Test. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're good. All right, so I turned off one mic. We'll see how that turns uh, turns out now. And we're approximately uh, eight minutes in. Okay. What I'm not used to is the bright lights. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like looking over there talking to you the whole time. I'm like, oh, I did by the light. <laughs> All right. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. Nice to see everyone at home again yep. joining us. We, uh, we got sticks in our hands. Life's been good. We talked about the guy with the stick walking in the forest. What else was I going to talk about? There's something else I was about to say. R&R related? Hmm? R&R related? Um, yeah, well, R&R &R related. Uh, tr you know, we traveled within our province for our vacation. We went up to an island called Quadra Island and I kid you not, second day we're there, I'm out with my daughter, we're on the boat, and I, for a half hour, there was three humpback whales, breaching head to tail, playing about for like a half hour, smacking their big fins on the ground. Mm -hmm. It was just gorgeous, and I was recording it on the GoPro. Yeah. Yeah, people don't get GoPro for things at a distance. Yeah. It's like a mile away. I watched the video. I'm like, this is nothing of what the experience was. So, um, yeah, and the daughter was happy and everything else. So nice. That was, that was a good time. That was a, uh, a nice time. That was a great day. And then we saw him again. The, I don't know if it's the same pot or not, but, uh, you know, two days later up at another set of islands when we were traveling on the boat and stuff. And yeah. 
And caught some fish! Caught some fish! I'll be having some fishing videos coming out, I think. I'm going to throw one up there. Oh, nice. Um, to go with my boating series um, for taking care of the engine and the boat and stuff like that. So, throw on a fishing video. How to catch a fish. And anyone that has uh, seen already one of my fish I caught, uh, that was at a different location. That was at Port Renfrew. But, but tonight, I said we were going to do a couple things. So we were going to start off empty handed, I believe, right? And then yeah. we were going to get into stick. That sounds right. Is that right? Sure. Okay. Let's, because it's our first night back after two weeks, we'll take it nice and easy. Our and inaugural um, YouTube night. See where we go with this. Hmm? Inaugural YouTube night. Inaugural <laughs> second round. <laughs> We're back again. All right. And, and oh, check this out. Check this out. For those of you that have been oh, keeping yeah. an eye on my health and the, uh, the back and how it's doing, fingertips can touch the toes again. I'm a happy camper. I'm not going to ask much more than that. <laughs> You're a much better man than I, because for some reason, if I was going to do that, I'd let out like a blood curdling scream right as I get to the bottom and just <laughs> hang there for ah! a minute. <laughs> I should have just tipped over <laughs> sideways. Yeah, exactly. It's like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Stephen, help. <laughs> We're going to have to call you on your cell and say, can you come pick me up yeah, off the dock? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyways, all right. So, the health, the back. The vacation helped. I yeah. Think, so. The fishing helped. So, okay. Where does that leave us? Where does that leave us? We were starting off. Oh, traditional trapping hands. Mm -hmm. That we were going to get into that, but we had something else first. Mm -hmm. It was uh, oh, cross hand grab releases, same oh, side yeah. grab releases. Okay. So a lot in what we do, we're always um, removing somebody's hand. So whether or not he grabs me here, whether or not he grabs me here, whether or not he grabs me there, whether or not he grabs me, wait, um, grab me upside down weird with that hand. There you go, like this for some reason. Oh, what are I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you yep. can grab all different ways. And we're always doing a release. We're always taking that hand off. Uh, one of the things I like to challenge in a sense uh, to my black belts and things of that nature, uh, or I start to grow in the yellow belts and, and blue belts and green belts as I plant the seed, that once in a while when someone goes to take it off, I hold on a little tighter. Mm. I know how to create the resistance needed to counter what they're about to do. Sure. Now, does that mean the technique doesn't work? Oh, hey, we got a message, it's a live message. <laughs> uh, does that mean our technique doesn't work? No, it means the technique works. I also just learned how to counter the technique as with everything, there's counters to everything. Sure. But when someone gets it down and they have it down, I can't counter it. It works, my hand comes off. Mm -hmm. So it's a way to play with uh, your students once in a while to see how, if they're feeling what's going on or they're just in robot mode, right? Right. So if all of a sudden we're doing some stick work and then I grab your hand, whether or not you feel me grabbing tighter or am I grabbing looser? Mm -hmm. And then you gotta match that no matter what. So it keeps it very live and in that moment. Sure. Okay. Where are we at? Cry for Christ is out there tonight. Good evening. I sent you tonight's picture. <laughs> that's, the thing, though. that's what we just got. <laughs> I like this. I like this. I think I like this better than the words. I think I do too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We got. I, I should bring next week's picture. I should bring one in. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. This? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure um, what stance I was trying to. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, so at some point in time, obviously there's an important stance structure here that I was demonstrating at a <laughs> seminar. Uh, I will uh, let everyone get a gander at that. <laughs> oh, boy, that's, that's a, good a good one. one. Yeah, I think that one's cropped, actually. It's a... Yeah, I think there's something else missing, but uh, context is important. Looks like this guy's getting hit, though, with a stick. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he looks like he's getting bashed on the... <laughs> oh, I think that's the uh, time when they're taking the picture at the end of the... I was about to say, it seems like one of those group gathering group photos. Group yeah. gather photo, but everyone do something weird or yeah. funky or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, I'm known to ham it up. Wait till you see my lip sync video coming out. If we got enough people giving us a thumbs up on this video, I... <laughs> Kung Fu Hustle, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, will, uh, I will post my lip sync audition tape. Uh, that I did while I was fishing out on the ocean. My, I've threatened my daughter with it, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see what happens. We get enough thumbs up, we, we'll do it, we'll do it. There you go. Okay, great, great <laughs> reminder. Thank you for that pick this week. 
I think I'll choose next week's pick. <laughs> Not only that, but I'm just like, so are these like tucked away in like a secret folder. photos to remember folder? Like, I'm just curious <laughs> <laughs> exactly where these are. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys are joining <laughs> us. Uh, so here we are. We're engaging in this idea of how to make sure we're learning to release hands. Now, in the yellow belt area of our curriculum, we have a cross hand grab where then I look at my palm, I'll hit up on this. Uh, tender area right up here. I'll smack that, this twist, and I'll go to the top of the head. Now that could be an eye thrust, it could be a throat slam, it could be a punch to the face, it could be a lot of things moving off of here, what happens. But I'm engaging my left hand and I'm making sure that in this first one that this right here, the, the angle here, is not less than 90 degrees. So there's about 90 and anything less than that he can overpower and shove in my face. So I keep this more than 90. So when it happens, I'm getting pulled. Whoa, there it is. My elbow's in place. I've kept it more than 90. He feels the, the yeah. tension there. And then from there, you go up and touch the top of the head. Power though, power development. In the beginning, you see people doing this. Like a big movements, right? <laughs> Sorry. You're right. You're absolutely you right. See it. It's been a while. <laughs> right? And then you feel this. You feel this stiff hand. Yeah. Or then you feel this. Yeah. You know, there's, there's lots of different things beginners do. Yeah. Okay. Want me to go to the other arm yet or are we still go to the other arm? No, okay. Whatever you want. Yeah. All right. So here we are entering in, looking at my palm, having my fingers. I like to face them towards the throat. And then from there, that sensitive area, just below the elbow, cupping it like I'm holding water in my hand. It cups here. I stay uh, attached to it. I don't, I don't do that. I stay attached to it. And I check it, make sure what's going on here, and I come up here. I say go to the top of the head for safety's sake. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, when they go right to the face like this, there's gonna come a moment when blood starts to leave the nose. Mm -hmm. So to get away from that, we just say, go to the top. You can always have different expressions of, of, of the martial technique of what's happening here, an artistic expression and go for other areas, no problem. Uh, Mr. Bill's out there, hey, what channel is this? Doesn't look like the Wednesday cartoons I've been getting used to. Oh, he leaves us for <laughs> cartoons, no. We left him for two weeks. Nice. Uh, well, welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, as we think about this, th this is one concept. This is one idea. So just go ahead and do four of those. Good. Right? He looks at his palm, smacks it down, stays attached. Good. And then now, I'm just going to make this a little bit tougher. Mm -hmm. Not tougher that he can't look at his hand. I'm just going to make it tougher that he can't hit my arm off. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, there we go. So now you start to see something. This hand's kind of going upward a bit there, mm -hmm. as this one. But I want this hand to do something different. Uh, I know what you're going for. Yeah, now he remembers. <laughs> now it's coming. Bam, and I can't hold on to that. See, there you guys have knowledge. You have the knowledge. Just dusting off the cobwebs after two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> so remember that this hand, relax for a second, just hold that. Remember this hand, relax, yeah, is doing this. This hand isn't going up. It's not coming back. It's corkscrewing. Out. Cork screwing out. And this just sets the fingers off. Boom. To come up and cork screw up. Sure. All right. So that is a one way. One way for a cross hand grab release back at yellow belt. Mm -hmm. Another way or another one is for the same side grab. So we're here. Same side grab. And I'm getting off the line. Putting my palm on his arm, on his forearm. And then I press it towards his belly button. And I should be able to take out his center. So here we go. Ah, over here. Now look at my footwork. Oh, we need the footwork. We need the footwork. Need to turn on the other camera. Boom, let's see if we can do this. Let's see what we can do here. Bing. Did that work? Nope. Okay, how about this one? Nope. Battery dead. <laughs> plug Which one do I push? Is the receiver plugged in? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I think I turned it on. Technical difficulties here. Let's click the mouse. We could, but that'd be too easy. <laughs> Maybe it just takes a while. So if I hit this one. Are you clicked on the OBS and not the other windows? Oh, that's a, 
There, there it is. I bet you're right. Technical support level two. Yeah, I've got to pay you extra tonight for that. <laughs> okay, I'm clicked on the OBS window. Yeah. Well, definitely doesn't like that one. Wah, wah. What? Guess you have to use okay, <laughs> that's it. Time to go voice activated. Uh, cam two, come on. There we go, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are. Uh, you'll see my footwork is when I go to get off the line, the right foot will go out as I'm scooping and this foot will follow in behind. So I'm not going like this. We're squared up, I step out, follow in and press. So my foot is a shuffle. It becomes a shuffle. So I scoop to the outside, shuffle. Now, Steven becomes a little bit stronger. Okay, good, I'm up, I'm over. It doesn't matter. Now, at this point in time, he can start to even try and push me. Mm -hmm. As he pushes me, it should be going into the back heel. Yeah. Do you feel that? Yep. And well, I'm just going to really walk good. forward <laughs> and move you. Sir. So that's our, we're going to call that our, our, our yellow belts, um, uh, same side grab release. Sir. All right, so you go for that. All right. <sighs> you got this. Remember the footwork. I'm filming the footwork right now. I know. Now. That's where I'm like, geez. <laughs> ah. Good, good. I like it. That's good. Nice. We'll do the other side too. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. I'm just gonna hold on there. <laughs> Hitting the walls. Hey, no, no, you're not. No, no you're not. Okay. That's it. I'm not gonna be nice. No way. Hey, <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. Beat the crap out of me the first night. I get it. I get it. I know what's happening here. <laughs> Get over here. I'm worried about what comes next. Yeah. Oh, oh what was that? That was good, wasn't it? Like that. that was amazing. No, thank you. Uh, here we go. <laughs> good, that's it. Good, good, good. Okay. So now, where does that lead us? Then we get into uh, when we're in like a tappy tappy or we're into a, a Cinewally uh, uh, changing between different Cinewallies or things of that nature when I'm working with somebody. Mm -hmm. Two versus one, one versus two, um, single stick versus single stick, and you start to grab my hand, and we have to do a release. A lot of times, in the beginning, it's near the end, so that we can continue the circle, continue the loop, and keep practicing and training the flow. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what do we do for those scenarios? Okay, I was talking about this all week long, and I shared it with the crowd out there, and they've probably seen this before, mm -hmm. but it's I call it learning to be like a whip. Okay, so you're. Your hand, if I'm still in frame here, should come across and flick out. So we'll just go over right here. Does that work? That works there. So it comes up, kind of secures with these two fingers, and then I just point a direction. I just point away. So it's up. And to practice this by myself, a lot of times, like, what do you do? You stand there like this? I said, no, no, no. I, I, I get this going. I hit this hand right here with these two fingers, and then I point. And that's how I'd practice by myself. You can feel a good one. And just getting it nice and relaxed. There's no, there's no sharp movements. There's no, it's all relaxed. Go for it. Sorry. Good. So hit the pit your hand, pit your hand. Yeah. Hand, not arm. Yeah. That's it. Point, point. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Ah, so let it be free. Let it be free. So what does that lead to us? Okay, well, we'll do the first one, which is um, just so we can show what we're aiming for is, see if you can see it on here, the tendons. So this move, we're, that's how we're going to attack the tendons that control the fingers right here. And we're going to start with a cross hand grab. We'll come up a bit closer there. So in this cross hand grab, what's important is that a lot of times when people are just starting out, this hand here gets in the way. It's like, oh, oh 
ow, I'm hitting my own thumb or my own hand. Mm -hmm. So if we're in this position, just drop. Just let it, let your hand drop. And then let this one come in underneath. Let these two fingers right here lap up against those tendons I just showed you. And then that will release and I take that hand and get it out of the way. Okay. So we're here, pop. And I'm not, I'm not going for, um, I'm not attacking the back of his hand or his wrist. I'm actually letting these fingers whip, whip around to the inside of his wrist. Pop, I'll do that one again. There we go. Yep. And the other side. So you can see here now, if I just get that hand out of the way, let it point down, and let this start to come up. Now I just trigger those tendons. Now you guys are at home going, he's not grabbing hard enough. I can hear them. They're like, no, 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 Steve's <laughs> scruffy, Steve, big Steve. <laughs> Look at the scruff on this guy. I know, it's ridiculous. Uh, you know what's funny is I know where we're going here, but I just want to prepare the audience <laughs> for what comes next. What's going to happen? And earlier you had said, what's important here? And my first thought was, remember not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's uh, do it. Not gonna, no, I'm ready, sir. It's like, it's like gish, 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 gish. I'm ready, sir. Like, you got it. All right, so here we are. Uh, Steven's definitely grabbing hard. You can see my hand is like, can't even open. It's like, oh, the tendons are getting crushed here. But I'm just going to pop that off. Yep. No problem. Get rid of it. And if we show the other side oh. here. Oh, sorry. Cross hand. Again, I'm just lapping this up. Now, you'll see people trying to do this, practicing, trying to be like that whip and relaxation, almost like a golf swing. And I just pop that off. That's frustrating. Now, sometimes people go... Like, you get some strong guys. Yeah. And that's great. doesn't matter. The only thing I would say is if you're dealing with that extra bit of strength that you're, that's not the normal person. I'm talking like guys who like build rock walls. Their hands are grippy strong. Their thick fingers are just in there. Mm -hmm. The only other thing I would add on is that this hand here will do this. Mm. Watch yeah. this. My elbow's in. My elbow's still in. I, I leave it in. I don't let it go out like this. I let the wrist lead outward. So it almost looks like this. Okay, so he's grabbing, and I come up here, thunk, and I'll, you'll see that mm -hmm. when I get those extra strong guys. So I just sure. combine the two energies there. Sure. This one's here, pop, and that's doing that. Mm -hmm. Keeping the elbow in, I don't do this. Grab. That felt much nicer. You win, <laughs> you, you won, right? I'm getting smashed by that other hand right now, right? That's right. So, Something to think about to practice when you want to go a little harder with your students or, or, or training. Pop. There's another way. And if you got that way, you can also do this and keep this right here protecting the center line. Oh, you go for it. So cross hand grab, release. This one's not in yellow belt. This is more uh, advanced ideas and concepts uh, up and about the brown belt level. Good. Oh. Oh, okay, so I gave him a little bit of that. Oh, oh. making him work for it. That's all right. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got this. All right, you got this. There you go. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, another picture's coming in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a good one. That was a, a good too, one. A little too high. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you're yeah. right up there, right? So yeah. now you're engaging into that muscle area, not those yeah. tendons. Yeah. Ah, there you go. That was nice. Took to the other side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Remember, no crying. Right. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Sword. No crying on my side either, but I can't pull it on. <laughs> oh, no, you got this. You got this. Hey, and let's go, Canada. Elections yeah. coming. That's amazing. We won't get into politics. Wherever it's got to go. <laughs> I'm just trying not to cry. Or exactly, yeah. Let it, let it go elsewhere. You got this. You got this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, that hurt me too still. <laughs> but you didn't get it. Oh. 
One second, one second. Here, I'll give you a normal grab. No, 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 no. Okay. You, you do your thing. You're good. Oh, okay. I get to do this. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Oh, that's really, you get that one now. Yeah. There you go. Good. So, yeah, see, I what cheated. That, see what the <laughs> elbow did, right? It went flying. Yeah, keep it in. Keep it in. Right? Sure. Keep it in. You got this. Good. Now, let's look at this hand. This hand should actually end up like this. Like this. That's oh, right. Like that, yeah. That's right. So, let's see if you can get that. Just focus here. Don't focus up here in this muscle. Sure. Focus right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pop that up. Yes! Sir. And now your elbows are still in to come right back up. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's cross hand grab. Mm -hmm. Now we get into, uh, we have no questions about that yet. I see. <laughs> no one, everyone's like, okay, sir, we know that. We're waiting for some stick work here or something. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's great to be back. It's great mm -hmm. to be on the mats and it's great to be able to touch my toes again. That is key. TMT, touch my toes. <laughs> <laughs> so, same side grab. Same thing. Oh, oh, we do got a question. Yeah. When do the release it easier to do with uh, with pointing the thumb? Uh, I okay, it's probably thumb out. Yeah. Okay. Question. When does the release uh, is it easier to do it with pointing the thumb out? Okay. The thumb out. Okay. So let's see if we can uh, figure this out. Um, are you talking about? As I've taken this off, I'm taking his thumb and pointing it away. That's an option. Mm -hmm. My thumb is also pointing out. But the idea there is when a palm is facing away from me, mm -hmm. this arm is really weak. If you allow the palm to even face down or anywhere else, yeah, it's a different feel. if I just do this and leave it here, oh, yeah. you are very powerful right here. Okay? But if I do this, this changes everything. I can then go into this. I can lift this up here, get this in here, and do hanging lock. Yep. Right? So, uh, with the palm up. Okay, your thumb. Palm up. Palm up. Oh, uh, this one. Oh, so this one maybe. As opposed to this thumb out maybe. So we're going to try and, if we're talking about my right hand, this one doing this, this will stay right up in here. I won't let the energy go here. So I think about energy coming out of my fingertips. And when I follow the energy of my fingertips right now, if I leave my fingertips pointing upwards and I'm trying to do center lock. Mm -hmm. So be strong, Stephen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm trying to do center lock. Oh, I gotta leave it up. <laughs> okay, it's kind of hard. So then I go, okay, let the water come out of my fingertips down towards his belly button, okay? And all of a sudden, I've got control. So I follow the energy. If my energy is then facing out in a way, um, my follow-up techniques or ideas have got to be quick. Mm -hmm. But if I'm in here, and this is right here already because mm -hmm. of this motion, I'm up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have I, uh, with the palm up, no defender. Yes, okay, so I think at one point or another, we may have covered what he was looking for there. Hopefully. Is that, let, let us know if we did or didn't. Let us know. <laughs> just give us one more yes if we covered what you were wondering there. Okay. So then we're into uh, same side grab next. We got an eight second delay we got to wait for. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Same side grab. Now, again, I'm aiming for the same tendon. So I just let my hand drop out of the way. Yes. Second okay. Yes. Cool. Good. Excellent. Uh, wow. <clears throat> Check this out. I must have been on the boat or something. We got a great. I'm like turning. We got right. a great. No, you tan. can't compare that. Compare the darker side. Come on. <laughs> got a great tan line going on here. This is awesome. Um, it's like you're different. It's like you're a different person. This was my driving arm though. This is one that's out the van window going up to where we're going and mm -hmm. just getting beat by the sun. Mm -hmm. But anyways, okay. So now that we're on the inside here, those tendons. Again, I'm practicing this motion, but now it's not the fingers. The fingers are going to the back of the wrist. What matters now on this one is the suction of the palm right here. Like I'm holding that water still. That suction is important. That will help trigger these tendons. If I'm going stiff, grab, okay, that's a different feeling yep. than if I relax, create that little cup, Woo! And get that suction going on. The <coughs> sound changes. What just happened? The feeling <laughs> changes. A lot of things change just by having that relaxation and that mm. cupping sensation. You show the wrist there. I got, I got a hand. You yep. see a little, little hand for, or a little red happening right on that suction area there. Mm. So that's important when uh, it's same side grab. 
to get that cup going. And then once I've got it off, I quickly close the door. So that action that I was doing earlier completes the idea of then closing the door, of, of closing off his options, mm -hmm. as opposed to going, <laughs> I got it off. Oh, wow. Huh? That was no fun. <laughs> you won that time. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One against. So let's do this side. Here we go. So again, I come in. Oh, good. Oh, he's testing me. Okay, take that one then. <laughs> Why? Now, this hand here is in my center. It doesn't go way out here. Okay. It doesn't go way over here. It goes right there. All right. Maybe I come up here like this. And maybe I take oh, the thumb, geez. and now I've got standing center lock. Right? Nice. So we start to play. Mm -hmm. Your turn, sir. Yes. If anyone has any questions during uh, Stephen's turn, uh, he'd be happy to answer them for you. That would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. Man, that was a good one. <laughs> it's funny how I feel it now more than I did before. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. All right. It's good to feel the technique and the idea. You know, one of, the, one of the times I was tested by Grandmaster, I call it being tested in the sense of, by Grandmaster Delaney was the first time I had him up here. Mm -hmm. And I, I tell people it was the most stimulation, pain, whatever I've ever felt in my whole entire life in a 12 hour period of just going, training, eating, going, training, eating, going, training, eating. And knowing that when I went to bed that night, I was absolutely fine. Nothing was broken, nothing was injured. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I woke up the next morning going, let's do this. Yeah. So, but anyway, it's not a lot of God on that way. Nostalgic, memories. That's <laughs> all good. No, I'm firing, I'm firing on more cylinders lately. My, uh, my healing has really excited me. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Just this back, this back getting better. I'm happy about that. Sir? Yeah, it's so like practicing a golf swing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't need to give it that much. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. There you go, yeah. Good, nice. I felt that one. It's starting to make a little red there. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> two partner. Two partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two partner. Oh, yeah. That was really good. That was good. <clears throat> yeah. Weaker side. It's the weaker side. You're just you're getting me prepped. You're yeah, like, I'll yeah, hit him a whole bunch I'm of times. I'm actually left handed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot yeah. of muscle, isn't it? See what I go through for my students? <laughs> Appreciate I give them such the gift of, of my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get a chainsaw. Why not? Doesn't matter. Why doesn't matter. Start the chainsaw. <laughs> Cut it off. Ah, okay. You got this? Oh, nope, right. I don't. Uh, but let me try again. Oh, there <laughs> it is. Yeah. Get that relaxation. Jeez. Can you back up and show the bait and thumb grab again? <laughs> What was that? I don't know what he's talking about. Did you remember that? That was a good one. <laughs> I do remember that one. The thumb part specifically. We'll have to uh, do a slow rewind on that and play playback. There we go. And I love how I feel when like Stephen. Very swingy, but anyway. Well, no, it's all right because when you do it, what happens to my center, right? Yeah. You kind of just take it out a bit there and uh, open up, close off all my. You know, even if I tried to come backwards like this, I put myself in a oh, great position. <laughs> Screw your back again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. All right. Back over here one more time. Good. And this side. There it is. Got it. Sir. Um, which one was he talking about when I do this? That's where you brought the thumb in. Hmm. Uh, I think I did the other side. Yeah, the other side. We can do this side too, though. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, sorry, I'll do this. Yeah, yeah could be up the phone. Now, the I the, now I got the fingers that time yeah. instead. So I did this side, was it? Is that the one? He's, no, this side. Oh, so, yeah. so this one, I came yeah. up here and I shot. Oh, wait, can yeah, you, you hear it? Ah, there it is. There it yeah. is. So you just get the thumb here and then keep it nice and close. And then right, 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 right. Hang oh. up, smash through here, elbow oh. in the neck, stab yeah. the chest. And all the <laughs> Lots of different things. Boink. All right. Uh, where does that leave us? A stick here? Do we need a stick in our hand now? Yeah, that sounds right. So let's just, okay, so let's look at that for a second. So a lot of times I said that, uh, yeah, one stick, one stick. Where, where do we see this? So if we just go back to basics of a single stick, Sinawali, little sweep entry right here. I may come here like this and grab his hand like this. 
So the same thing now, he wants to make sure that however he tries to take it off, that he triggers mm -hmm. those tendons. Boom. And then we start again. Maybe, that's another one we could do. <clears throat> I come in this way. Oh wait, that was the same way. <laughs> Maybe I bring it down here and I go this way. No, so this now, way. you're popping it off there, changing the focus the from the fingers the finger. <laughs> to the suction. And we can then continue the flow of the drill. Whatever it's it may that makes sense? I concur. I'm actually like bringing this all loop around of working. It's working. Yeah, it's good. For off the cuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me? Teach off the cuff? What Never. are you talking about? This is always planned. Every time. Uh, we have a script somewhere. Yes, script. <laughs> <laughs> we are totally scripted. Mm. Uh, where does that leave us? Okay, so we got a stick in our hand now. Yep. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, oh. Yes. There was one other idea that you were talking about earlier. Okay. And it was the... Cinewally windmills. Well, there was that, and okay. there was also the traditional... <laughs> oh, traditional chopping hands. Yeah. Mm, maybe we'll save that for next week. Yep. All right, people, for next week, if you see us, uh, remind me or mention traditional trapping hands. Sounds good. And we'll do a good review on that. Okay, single stick. What do we got happening? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What was I focusing on? Okay, there's a little drill I was worth focusing on earlier this week. Let's look at that drill. What's important about that drill? When you're first learning the puño, we learn the puño, we saw the rib cage, we've talked about that. We learn the puño, that it's coming on top of my head and I'm going stick hand, and he goes stick hand, right? We're doing this. And the idea is I'm gonna actually tell Steven now what I want to come from him because I don't want him to use his stick. I want to use his hand, okay? So all of a sudden he uses hand first instead of the stick first. So in the beginning, when people are first uh, doing this little drill, that's what happens, okay? They do this, they're all of a sudden like, oh! yeah. they, they throw this up and then they have the stick come in behind. Okay, that puts me actually in a not great position, not the best position. So I have to try to remember and train my body to always go right here, if I can, stick first, then hand. Stick first, then hand. Well, we still got the footwork on too. We don't need the footwork for this one though, but we can just do this here and keep it up, right? Boom, okay, so let me just turn off the footwork here. You know, maybe the battery's dead in it. Let's Please. find out if the laser pointer works. Yeah, definitely point it in your eye. Uh, yeah, oh. Did you not have it turned on? Maybe it wasn't turned on. <laughs> Does that work? No. Mm -hmm. I think we gotta reprogram it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. It wasn't just me not turning it on. <laughs> that would have been funny though. Let's go back here. There we go. Now we can see. Get the footwork out of there. Uh, what were we just doing? Yes, uh, drill. The, the puño drill. Mm -hmm. So we're in close. When you're in close, the puño. The puño in this area is fabulous. This area, this area, it's all right here. Nice action. You don't want to see him trying to hit me like this while we're this close. Look how weird his arm looks and stuff. It looks like a chicken or like stuff. dunk. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting into abanicos or anything. Huh. So the idea is learning to use the puño. So I go stick hand and I come back at him. And we just do this little exercise, making sure I'm training stick hand and I'm not going stick, oh, hand, stick, oh, great, what, what, oh, no, what, wait, I got this. Okay, just like this, okay? And then once you've got this down and you're used to doing it, you can kind of, Oh, I got him to use his head. Did you see that? Slow <laughs> that one down. Okay. Bad, sir. Don't do that to your students. Okay. So, here we are here. And we're just working it back and forth. Okay, Steven, it's your turn. Go. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to take it from you. Okay. Here I go. Taking it go. from you. Here good we go. go. Okay, good. All right, your turn again. You go. Wait, I'm not ready. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Back. I'll take it. Okay, good. You got it? Wait, I got it now. You got it? I got it. Okay, he's got it. We got this. Alright, just feel the oh, oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. Shit! <laughs> Don't like spicy. that hand right there. I'm like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> so a little spicy there and stuff, speeding it up a bit. So sure. keeping safety in mind at all times. Yes. Nice. So when it comes in, stick, hand. So then how does that weave in together with Sinawali? Hmm. So let's weave it into the Sinawali we were showing earlier. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, 
and four. So there's my basic creating chaos in front of myself with that sweep entry. Wham! There's his maneuver. He's taking out my hand and then smashing my face with that punya. Mm -hmm. He's like, take that, chicklets. Oh, chicklets. Yeah. Bam! Ooh, that would hurt. Wait, see if we can get the right angle here. Maybe I can make this look good for the camera. I'll just get some ketchup in my mouth. Funny thing is, is because the height difference a bit, mm -hmm. like normally it'd be like, if it was me, it'd be like right here. So I'm like actually coming down and kind of shooting like a pool cue, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Quarter pocket. Yeah, exactly. Quarter pocket. Uh, no questions yet. All right. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video if you're on YouTube and give us a, uh, what do you call it, on the subscribe? Subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe. We're up to 284 now. So we're oh, past wow. our three quarter mark. Nice. Or one quarter mark. Heading to half, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So here we are. I sweep in. Boom. And this is the next exercise. People have to do this in kind of a, what's the word, sequential order. Mm -hmm. So that they can put the pieces of the puzzle together. If I just give them the whole puzzle right away, they miss what each section is really about. Mm, yep. Right? So now we got that section down. Boom. Now your turn, you drive in. Good. No blocking. Damn it. That was hand first. <laughs> <laughs> no blocking. Sir. Right? Boom. Okay. This is coming right in here. Coming right down here in the chest. Neck, ears. It's all bad. Coming in this way, whatever I decide. He may drive in and I come this way. He may drive in and I come this way. It all depends. So the idea, boom, is I don't want him to respond with that hand yet. Yeah. Now, tie this in. Yeah. <laughs> tie this in for a big kapow at the end of this, uh, putting in the this exercise right here. So we can turn this into a circle now, right? Sure. So we go one, two, three, pops it down, here it comes, stick first, stick first, hand, and I come back at him, stick, hand, and then I'm gonna grab his hand, and what's he gonna work on? Getting that two fingers on the back of my tendons, and turn it around, and we can continue the circle. Yeah, there we go, right? Now I'm using my stick first. To put that all together. Sir. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? I'll give you a moment to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Mrs. D! Oh hey. Mrs. Jenny D. Good evening and family if you're out there as well to my girls. Good evening. We're not doing anything. Yep, no, we uh, just... Uh, nothing. Back's good, back's good. Not doing anything. <laughs> uh, okay, I do have a question. Ooh, look at that. I do. Audience, please feel free to answer his question. Mm -hmm. How many ducks fit in a regular fridge? That's my question. That's a tough one. I don't know. <laughs> So busted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm feeling good. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ducks in a fridge. Don't know. Please Google that and get back to us. But I do have another Leave a comment story. down below. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real question. Real end, question. end of the stream. Um, when we're doing this? Yes. <laughs> Actually, if you can sweep on me. I will sweep in trying to hit Steven. <gasps> and then you do the thing me. Okay, boom. Yep. Boom. Ah, right here. So what I find is happening is when we get a little faster and spicier with it, let's say, mm -hmm. I'm like doing this. Mm. Okay. You're helping me hold on. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I oh, want that. And hand. then like, oh, oh. right? It's okay. not working. That's the sound it makes. So this is the, this is, this would be the, the, okay. Now if we have a beginner, mm -hmm. intermediate, and we have advanced. Yes. And then we have masters. Yes. Okay. This would be about an intermediate, intermediate advanced. Intermediate, yeah. intermediate advanced. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So obviously this is not good, right? My shoulders engaged, my muscles are going, I'm looking away, this is bad, right? Bad. So I want to keep it here like this, but what I find happens 
is I tend to like do like this. I see you coming with Like this right. huge wind up, and I don't want to do that either. So, my question being, do we start from here? All right. Where do you this start is a, from? This is an awesome question. Awesome question. Come back up, come back up, come mm -hmm, up. Mm -hmm. Stay where you are. Okay. Okay, we're here. Come up. There we go. Yeah. So, here, mm -hmm. this is what I would change on Steven when he's doing it to make sure he has power. P's tonight. Not F's. P's. Oh, yes, sir. Power. Okay, yeah, yeah. Huh. I would change this right here. Beep. Oh, yeah. That's it. See, now that's a simple answer, isn't it? That is different than yep. this. Yep, yep, yep. Totally different muscle group now. Yeah, okay. Mmm. And you're ready to go, ready again. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. So pop, boom. Now you're not having to engage this big. So when so you sweep in on me, and here like this, boom, stick oh, hand, good. And this is right here, right? Yep. It's just right there, remember that? Jeez, yep, okay. okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Oh, my pleasure. There we go. Question answered. Hopefully that helps anyone else out there. What do we got tonight, Eve? Ooh, she's on it. She's on it. <laughs> what type of duck? That's what plastic a, reel? Uh, I'm gonna go with like rubber ducky, like the kind you put in the tub. Ooh, rubber duckies. Yeah, rubber duckies. I'm going with 3,000. 3,000 in a fridge. 3,000 rubber Holy duckies cow. this size in a fridge. Someone out there, please do a video. That's a huge fridge. There's no way that's a regular size. 3,000. <laughs> What's your guess? 500. Okay, 500 rubber duckies. Are we including the freezer? Sure. Okay, is it a top freezer, bottom freezer, or side by side? Top freezer. Top freezer, 3,500, let us know the answer. Okay. <laughs> the price that, is right. What size of fridge? There we go. Big, you said a regular fridge. Regular fridge. fridge. So Big. whatever a regular fridge size is. I don't know inches or anything, but, yeah. you know. Cubic feet, actually. You wouldn't do by inches, but anyways. So says fridge guy. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Shows the sweep in. There's the <laughs> stick first. There's footwork to this, by the way. A little bit of footwork happening down here. There's my check. He removes it, boom. Now, I call this the intermediate, mid, uh, advanced range of an idea. Then, well, we got 6,723. Uh, she Googled it. It's <laughs> a lot. You need plastic or yes. rubber. Rubber stick, rubber, rubber ducky, rubber, yeah. rubber stick. Rubber ducky stick. So now, how do we turn this into more of a uh, advanced masters kind of concept and idea of what you're doing with a stick in your hand. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to take it up one more step and then we're going to wrap it up for the night. Sure. Sound good? Yep. Okay. And camera break. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Here we go. I left my mouth open. You know, oh, bad. Yeah, because I'm standing there like, uh, I committed, but I hope I hope yeah. that uh, that uh, see. Okay, no, I hope. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. Taking it up a notch. Here it comes right here. There's my block check. I know he's about to go for that hand. I get the little bit of a love tap in here, and we start again. So now I'm learning to find those little quarter beats and start again. Wait a second. Oh, okay, good. All right. And we're doing this with foamy sticks because if I used my other stick, Steven's wrist would not, Big Steve's wrist would not like that. That was late on that one. <laughs> Slowing me down here. I see what's happening. Oh, it's a Gordon go. trick, yeah. <laughs> so you get to see that there. Play that a bit slower and you can see that extra little hidden. Finding those moments. Good accuracy. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, your turn. Ooh, look, why don't you hit me? Yes. Why don't I? Ha! <laughs> oh, hit my own hand. <laughs> there we go. So now we know why we point that hand right away. There we go. Uh, there we go. Right. Oh, good one. Boom, good. Oh. You hitting my chest? <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, I was doing that the other night, too. Good. So let's slow it right down and track his stick. Let's track it. <clears throat> Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. Watch his stick, not mine. 
Okay, so you see how you took yours right up back here already, right? Yeah. Okay. Track mine. Okay. Oh, you're right there. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, sorry, go ahead. That makes sense. Yes. There we go, see? Okay, <laughs> apparently uh, 60 frozen real ducks into your average fridge. Oh, there. That is a completely uh, BS guess. I did not, I did not. <laughs> 60, yeah, real ducks. Uh, yeah. Real ducks, yeah. okay. Are these uh, Ontario ducks or are they BC ducks? That's the next question. What size of duck? How much yeah. plumage? All right, let's grab our stick. Grab our stick. Oh, good luck, Is that when it's already plucked or mm. uh, dressed or undressed? It's a northern quail or an eastern swallow or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, they're <laughs> killing it. Uh, mallards, eh? <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's been a fantastic night. It's great to be back um, after a two-week hiatus of, of a little R&R &R with the family. And I have a little story, a little quick story at the end of this I want to share with you tonight. I think I gained some uh, brownie points with uh, my wife on the uh, excursion we went on for our holiday. As we were, she's going to love me for this, I think I'm about to lose my brownie points. Oh, there you go. But we were out on the boat, and I'm driving along, which you might get to see a video. If I get enough thumbs, like, thumbs up on this video, I'm going to put up the uh, oh, lip geez. sync video. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the comments right now. And as we're driving, I got this hat on, and this hat flies off. And it's just my wife and I in the boat. So we do what we call emergency maneuvers mm -hmm. to go rescue the hat, as if it were a person overboard, yeah. a child overboard, an adult overboard, you know. Mm -hmm. So we do some emergency turns, come around. Now, if anyone owns a boat out there, you know, as a matter of fact, that when the boat is approaching an object, this is the object, this is the boat. When it's approaching the object, that the object will actually float away mm -hmm. from the boat. So we attempt this procedure three times. And my wife is very diligently, strongly, confidently going, I'm going to get that hat. Mm -hmm. And she's focused. And she's holding onto the bar a little bit. And she's leaning. And she's on one leg, but it's the wrong leg. And she's reaching out for the hat. She's almost, this is the hat. This is the hat. It's right there. It's almost got it. She's like, her fingertips are right there. And this leg slips. Mm -hmm. Now, being a good captain of a boat, this is important. You always know what's going on. Just like in martial art and on the mats. You always know what everyone's doing. Out of the corner of my eye, using my peripheral, I see my wife's leg go into the air and kind of heading over the boat, over the edge. So I... As I'm driving here, doing the emergency turn, kind of come around, I'm just like reaching back and I'm going, please, not my back, not my back, not my back. <laughs> and I grab onto her life jacket and her, um, uh, what do you call this part back here? Just the, uh, oh, the, pants. the belt loop. Yeah. The belt loop of the pants and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Grab onto that, just barely go, get back in here, pull her back up and keep going. I'm like, okay, let's get the hat, not you this time. <laughs> so it was awesome. Uh, I've got some brownie points. Didn't let her go in the drink. That was yeah. uh, that was good. Always a fun time. Never a dull moment. I think my favorite thing about this story, my first thought, I don't know if this is what everybody else thinks, but don't you have like poles and sticks and stuff on the boat to reach said things? Even a net with a long handle. Something like that. But it's not the same as reaching and grabbing it, you see? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> lesson, <laughs> lesson learned. Any new CMATS merch? Ooh, oh, that's, that's a good, good question, question too. That's yeah. a good one. Uh, so anyways, yes, had a great holiday, got to see whales, celebrate my daughter's birthday, yeah. um, nice. rest the back, and catch a, fish. Catch, catch a, catch a few fish, but yeah. I only showed one of the fish, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. made sure it was a good picture. Um, so that being said, great to have you back, uh, sir. Big Steve, and anyone else out there joining us, great to see you back live on this Wednesday night. We'll be back live next again Wednesday night, next Wednesday night. And also, for those who are attending our studio, we have a new schedule coming out. We will put on Facebook, on the website, and uh, post that new schedule. This class, this YouTube class, will stay going on uh, as we head into the fall. But it might change. It might change to a 6.30 to 7.30. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's right. Might, something like that. So watch for that change, and we'll definitely mention it over the next uh, week here or two. Sure. Other than that, thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to our channel. It's great to be back. What else do we have out there? Any last questions? Okay, any new merch? Any new merch? Do you have any yeah. merch? I've actually been told to get more hats. I oh. don't have any hats. Right. So I should go like order another 20 hats or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, what I, that's one thing I've been told because people want to buy the hat again. Right. What else do we got? We have shirts? We got shirts. What else do we have? Uh, or what else should I get? Should I get more merch? Oh yeah, you know what we don't have? A little Seamats plushie that I can sleep with at night. Oh, a little Seamats doll for you. <laughs> I'll make it a mini me. You can just tuck me right oh, in. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I was thinking more like, <laughs> like a little mascot or a pillow or something. You know? How about Igor? Yeah, Igor is a mascot. Igor yeah, yeah, yeah. is a. <laughs> uh, uh, not any other new merch in that sense. Maybe we should get about doing that sometime. Yeah. That'll be something we have to put on our to-do list. Yeah, I think we were talking about shirts at one point. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing. I do. I save sometimes a different design for shirts and stuff for yeah. seminars and and camps. Yeah. But we'll see what we can do with that. Here's the real question out to the audience as well as original poster oh. there. Oh, one second what? before you say that. What? Someday, maybe we'll have a CMATS uh, knife. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. A, a dull knife to train with. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'm working on that idea. Right. Go ahead. But for all of the folks back at home, uh, if there's any merch you would like to see, mm. let us know. Put it out there in the comment section. Why not? Yeah. Along with the ducks. Okay. Uh, thank you for saving my, uh, excuse me, yet again, <laughs> winky face, I, my, our pleasure, my pleasure, our pleasure, no, my pleasure, uh, anytime, <laughs> I'll always be there for you. Okay, thought and option, impulsive move, yes, okay, okay. I'm, reading I'm reading it backwards, I'm reading the comments backwards. That'll get you in trouble. Okay, I'll <laughs> stop doing that. Uh, that being said, let me grab my sticks. Sir. We'll do good courtesy. Thank you thank very you, much. And for those of you out there, thank you for joining us. And feel free to share this video if you're out there as well. Share it on YouTube, share it on um, Facebook, whatever way you want. Getting it out there, getting CMATs out there, getting modern Arnis out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A pleasure as always. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Feel free to watch Stephen twirl some sticks as I'm going to go do the techie bits. Which kind of seems reversed, you know, now that I think about it. You do the techie bits and I twirl the sticks, huh? It used to be that way. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? We got oh, decals or masks. That's interesting. The mask is an interesting one. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're seeing what happens with, as far as the masks are concerned, we might be entering in stage four next for BC. Yeah, uh, September, I think. Okay. September. But depending on the Delta variant, who knows if that's going to change things again. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, maybe. Maybe yeah. uh, a CMAS mask. Deckles Thank you. Have a good week from Mr. Neil. Thank you. Best wishes to those back east. Hey, there we go. Best wishes to everyone back east from uh, Jenny D, Mrs. Nice. Delaval. Um, and Deckles, Deckles. I've always thought of a, of a bumper sticker of some sort. I've always, I've always liked that idea of a sticker. That's a good idea. Just to kind of get the name out there, get yep. modern Arnis out there and stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll have to think about that. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Oh, we got this last line for you, Big Steve. We got the glad you had a great vacation and uh, good to have you back. Oh, there you go. Nice. That's very good.